I worry about that. And the reason I worry about the, the tone, and from both sides, by the way, we used, yeah. to, we used to talk in the White House about, they called it BDS, Bush Derangement Syndrome, you know, where, where people, you know, sort of foamed at the mouth when they, from the left, when they talked about President Bush. And, you know, I mean, this whole idea of this notion of hurling liar and loser, Harry Reid called him, and, you know, the, just comparing him to Hitler. I mean, it's ridiculous. Is there ODS? Um, <laughs> I, I've, I've know, seen a few I, Hitler signs myself. You know, I haven't really seen the same level, frankly, of vitriol directed at President Obama as I did at President Bush. To be fair, re re really, really, I, I don't think I have. What if, what if you, what? How much time do you have? I mean, I look. I, I think that we can agree that there's been BDS and there's been ODS, yeah, but to suggest well, that there's I mean, BDS I, without ODS yelling, seems a little short-sighted. Well, no, I think I think yelling. You know, what, whoever yelled "baby killer" from the floor of the house, the, rep, the representative, that was you know a ho terrible violation of decorum. It should right. never have happened. Randy Nugabar. Um Right. Yeah. Um, it, but at the same time, I think for the president to chastise the members of the Supreme Court sitting right in front of him was also a breach of decorum. What about Joe Wilson? And so. Um, what about you lie? Or yelled yelled right. at Obama. I mean, right. would you, you have the same problem with that, I assume, well, that you have with the Same being, as I do with Harry Reid calling the president calling the a president liar and a loser. loser.